Does your website need more traffic? Well, visit overflowcafe.com today. They make websites popular and over 41,000 people use their service to gain more customers. They are winning our business. What about you? Visit overflowcafe.com today. Hi, this is your girl T with Rockefeller's Barbershop located at 1733 Babcock in San Antonio, Texas. Whether you're looking for a haircut, a shave, braids, dreads, weaves, color, we do it all here at Rockefeller's. You can hit me up at 210-884-9046. That's for a call or text. And on Facebook and Instagram at Takesha Williams. That's T-A-K-E-S-H-I-A Williams. And you're listening to us now on I Am Refocused Podcast on iHeartRadio. You are listening to I Am Refocused Podcast Special Edition with your host, Shamaya Reed. This podcast is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. Now, let's tune in into today's podcast. This is I'm Refocus Podcast, and today we have an awesome show for y'all. But before we get to our special guest today, on 4th of July, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsors out there. Top of the list, huge shout out to Rico Rodriguez of Rockefeller's Barbershop, Miss Kim of River Sea Donuts, Baby McClinton on Sports Being Conditioning. Visit his website at allsportsfitness.net. Also, big shout out to D.W. Brooks. And last but not least, OverflowCafe.com. If your website needs more traffic, make sure you head over to OverflowCafe.com. Now to today's guest, a special treat for 4th of July. If you're just getting ready, about to watch fireworks, or you come back inside, man, you want to listen to this interview. We have Ill Ruckus, and they are a rap group from the DMV. And today we are talking to two of the members, Mr. Sid and Mr. Smith. How y'all doing today? We good. We good, bro. Thank you, man. Yo, it's wonderful out here. Um, happy 4th of July. Yes, sir, man. And you guys started this group in 1999. Let's go back in the day and because you guys grew up together, correct? Throughout our adulthood, yes. Take us back to the time you guys met and how you started to just gel, you know, disconnect and start making some dope hip hop. Well, this is Mr. Smith. I was working, I was working at barbershop and my brother here came through and uh, was looking for me. I guess he heard that I rhymed and we hooked up and me and him been rhyming every since together. And then, you know, the, the, the fellas from around the way, we just kind of linked up and made it a movement at a young age. We were like 19, 20. So we've been, we've been, we've been, we've been pushing it for 20 years. We took a small little hiatus, but it, it never left us. You know what I mean? And we just still, we just still push it. Right. That's what's up because I, I did check out the website irruckers.com and yeah, a little 11 minute documentary was pretty dope and got to meet producer that had been working with y'all too in the studio. And you can just tell the vibe is real. And what is it like when you're making songs in the studio? Like who does the writing or is it collectively all together? Like how does that work? Well, we, we all write what we usually do. Is we see we have Matt produces for us, but then you know he's working on his technique. So we'll go shopping for beats from different producers, and we find something that's dope. We're like, yo, we need that now. So we buy exclusive beats. We buy exclusives. So we get together, we'll write something, and if it's dope, we usually just go straight to the studio, record it, and then just basically put it out there. Now that we got the distribution deal, we could record tracks and just put them out there. But you know, our art our artistry comes from a lot of the growth you know over the years us, us coming up through our life you know um i've been through a lot of trials and tribulations and i express it through the pen you know in the paper mm-hmm. but also i kind of keep a trend where we want to deliver music that people gonna feel you know we want to bring that energetic feel to it like we want people to get up and move yeah. that's kind of how it's going down so you try to mix both of those together and you have a new y'all have a new single love all over me tell us about that track man well that came about we went to one of our one of our uh, brother's studio and uh, checked him out last summer. We were chilling in the studio, 
I was actually rec- I was actually recording the, on my solo. I was recording my solo um, album I'm working on for next year, mm. and we and beats. Yeah, and then nice. we heard the beat. We heard the beat, and and Sid Sid liked it from the gate, and I liked it as well. And I made sure I put a deposit on it before we left there. When we came back home, a couple of days went by, a couple of weeks went by, and I had jotted down some ideas. He had jotted down some ideas. And the way we click is, is, is we brothers first. So he came to me, and his his hook was the hottest. So that's what we went with, and he, he kind of sang a melody to me. And Yo, that was my first time singing on track and everything. <laughs> and I was like, you know, it sounded good. I was like, well, we going to roll with this. We're going to go with this. So, like, two weeks later, we was in the studio. And you now, get- and, and it's a radio. That's like we was looking for that radio song, and it mysteriously just happened like that. Came out. And you guys have been doing this for a while, so you know what you're doing. Again, we are talking to Ill Ruckus, and we're talking to Sid and Mr. Smith. And let's let's dive into this whole music industry, because we all know it's a monster out there, and it's cutthroat in the industry. What's some of the things that you all have just mastered as far as understanding how to market yourself and just getting your name out there and talking to your fans and getting the maximum exposure? Like... Take, well, us, take us through that. All right. Well, when it comes to the fans, I love the fans. I love, I love going out, meeting people, me promoting on the street. I do. I, I still, I still sell CDs. Like people say, CDs are non-existent. Stream is where it's at. Trust me, stream is where it's at too. But I still like to get out there and make ten dollars off a CD. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, and then at that same time, I engage with my fans right there. We switch Instagrams. You know, they follow, I, I get my followers that way. Twitter. Whatever they and plus I'm 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 right there with them up and personal after the shows I'm doing that just if I go to an event I'm doing that um, our social media presence is also getting a little stronger we've been um, doing a couple campaigns on Instagram and Facebook that I've been getting this more engagement with our fans and our manager which is Tiffany Gaines big shout out to Tiffany Gaines with the uh, Worldwide Music Group but uh, she's been helping us engage with our fans more so we have like a calendar that I follow that like I'm, I'm assigned to do a different task every day. And, and that's been working. That strategy has been working. You know, we get about 10 to 10 to 15 followers a day, you know, that it's been working for us very well. But, but me personally, up close and personal with the fans is the best engagement. I love meeting my fans. And you know, as art, as artists out there on the grind, trying to build your brand, trying to build awareness for everybody. We all have real lives too, you know, as a music artist. So, how do you keep that balance from you developing your personal self, but also developing your craft in the studio? Well, the, I guess for for me, for, for, for me, and I think for my brother, it kind of comes natural. Some people just have that, that personality and that, that, that natural balance to mm-hmm. where most, most like personally, most of my music comes straight from the heart. So, so, so when I write my stuff, it, it's coming out natural, so the, the balance is naturally going to be there for for me personally. You know what I mean? That's real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's how I hold it down. And I think it's for me. Of- for for me, the the music and and, and the business, you know, it, it, to me it goes hand in hand. <clears throat> like I love hitting the studio, but I also like putting in doing the copyrights. I like doing the publishing. Mm-hmm. I like doing the BS sound scan. I, I'm a little bit. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a business major. I, I'm. I'm working on my MBA as well right now. So I use those. My business um, degree. I actually use that to help us in our music career. And and it, and it also helps. Is you know, it's work that has to be done. Mm-hmm. And you know, when you communicate with people, you want to be professional. You know, and yeah. you know the school. The schooling that I got that keeps you know the professionalism that I, that I learned actually help us in the industry. And that's very interesting because not all rappers think like that. What's some advice that you have for the newcomers who feel like oh, I'm just going to wing it? And, you know, because like you said, music is a business. You got contracts, you got, you know, marketing, you, you got business, you, you, you have yeah. money that you have to keep track of and taxes. Right. So what's some advice Budgets. you got for that, man? Budgets. <laughs> yes, sir. Everything is it's all it's all under one umbrella. And for the new artists that are coming up, you know, my best advice to them would be have a budget set to the side. It's, it's cool to make dope music. You can make dope music 
you know, and 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 party partying with your friends and listen to it. But when it comes to the business, it's a it's it's different. You know, you want to put some money to the side, run a campaign. It's gonna cost. You know, there's free stuff that you could do, but run a campaign that actually costs something, and and see how and test the waters. You know, it's not it's not. All right, I put it like this: you can. You could be a Dodge or a Lamborghini. That's what you pay for a Dodge. Uh, you're going to get the Dodge. You pay for a Lamborghini, you're going to get a Lamborghini. That's real so that's good. The, that's the best way I could put that. And it's so true because you get what you pay for. So if you're not going to be willing to invest in yourself, no one's really going to take a chance on you because if you won't take a chance on yourself, why would they spend their money on you? So that's very exactly. worth wisdom right there. And kind of diving into your uh, studies, how do you balance that and music? I don't. I I, I don't sleep. <laughs> I mean, not really. Like I get little. I get little sleep at a time. Like you know, at a minimum, because I have a full time job too. So you know, I I'm, I'm writing rhymes on the on the way to work on the bus and on the train. Mm-hmm. I do my job. I'm writing rhymes. I'm doing homework on the way back from work. And then, like tonight, I'm doing an interview with now. But then when I leave here, I'm going to perform tonight. So I'm I'm like nonstop. So oh, that's I, exclusive. Like, hey, do whatever you you can, and you know, believe me, I get good breaths. But usually, you know, I, it doesn't require me as much sleep as they say. As you get older, you you require less sleep. You, you know, you don't need as much. So where are you going to perform later on tonight? Uh, we're gonna be at Parks Lounge tonight. Okay, tonight is the Fourth of July party tonight, so we're gonna be there. Uh, I'm going to be working on some of the solo songs that I got coming up for next year. So uh, that's that's basically the set that I've been doing. I got four songs off the solo that I'm doing now. So I'm ready to rock out there too tonight. I'm going to go live. So if everybody listening in right now, you can catch me uh, on Facebook. Go to Ill Ruckus, I-L-L-R-U-C-K-U-S, and we're going to go live tonight. That's real dope, man, because what I hear in this theme on in this interview is consistency and perseverance. Because you guys been doing this since the 90s. You're taking it as a serious business and not just a hobby. And there's a major difference, especially in the music industry. If you're willing to treat it like a hobby, well, your results going to look like a hobby. But if you're willing to dig in, make some sacrifices, lose some sleep, that's when you start to see the results. So before we close, man, I want to also ask you guys, what what's some more events that you have layered out in the summer or early fall that you got planned out for y'all? Well, <clears throat> Mr. Smith, we definitely got a video coming for the uh, Love All Over Me, sex all, slash Sex All Over Me. We definitely got a video for that coming. Uh, that's going to be real big because of the the, the the potential of the song. The song is, 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 is very it's summer felt. Can't wait to do that. Yeah, the, the, video, the video is definitely coming for that. No, it's gonna be lit. We've been right? already doing. We've been already doing our model search, so the video is definitely coming for that. And uh, this, this is uh, Mr. Smith. I've been working on my solo stuff as well. Mm-hmm. My bro working on his solo stuff. I produce on the side. I write R and B. I sing a little bit. We just just keeping it pushing, man. Just staying positive, and not to sound cliche, but in my life, and I think my bro's life, just giving the glory to God and just keeping pushing, man. Yeah, and I missed it. Right. And, and, and performances, we doing PAX Lounge, you know what I mean? Every every Wednesday and Thursday night, you know, that we got, you know, declared for the, for the, from the owner to do whatever we want. So we, from Wednesday to Saturday, we have PAX Lounge located in Loveville, Maryland. That's where we at. So if you're in the DMV area, come check us out. That's Wednesday through Saturday. We, we live in that every night. But oh, then wow. we also hit Pure Lounge. We got uh, Tacoma Station out in the D.C. area. We got Eden in DC. We got Club Asia. Like we rocking for real. Like it's nonstop. We nonstop over here. Well, we are talking to Il Ruckus, and also once one more time, we have both you guys do it. Give your personal social media so that everyone can stay up to date. Okay. Well, first, on our first domain, what we like everybody to go to is check us out at our official web page. That's www.illruckus.com. Our Instagram is the same. That's Il Ruckus underscore ill underscore ruckus underscore and facebook is ill ruckus everywhere you can google ill ruckus and it's going to come up so you're not we're not hard to find at all and also your your partner there his personal one on ig and hey, stuff same thing 
Same thing. There you go. Yeah, there we combined. That's what's up, man. And yeah, broken into the social media. You know, we everything is a group right now. But next year we'll we'll be breaking those chains to be more individualized. But right now it's ill ruckus. Everything is ill ruckus right now. That's what's up, man. And also before we before we let y'all go, who you wanna get some shout outs to? Man, first and foremost, we wanna give a shout out to God, you know, um, for bringing us and taking care of us on our journey and helping us. Um, number two, I want to give a shout out to my mom. May she rest in heaven. Yeah. Uh, brother Tilly Matt from Straight Banger Productions. You saw him on our documentary, kind of like our in-house producer. He's been a brother to us, you know, over the years. Uh, shout out to our missing mama Valdez right now. You know, uh, shout out to my mom. Just been being the best, you know, just being there for for you, brother, when you're going through his day. Right, and, right. And all our all our all our fans and supporters. Right. You know, and that we know and that we don't know. All of them. Another and another shout out to Tiffany Gaines for helping us on our journey. And another shout out to William Bowser at Quality Touch Studios. That's the producer behind that hot track Sex All Over Me, Love All Over Me, that's rocking this summer. You can listen to that now. That's what's up. Like I said, we are talking to Ill Ruckus. It is an exclusive interview. And before we drop out, any last words? You know, just make sure y'all go check out the music. And like I said, I'm getting ready to go hit the club now. I'm getting ready to go now. So if you're in the DMV area, you can come to Pax Lounge, North Loveville, Maryland. And that's where we're going to be at. You know, we just rock with it. Just rock with us. Keep checking for us. That's all. That's all I got to say, Mr. Smith. <laughs> we love y'all. That's and, what's and, up. And, and, it's, and it's very nice to meet you too, Shamaya, man. Thank you so much. Yes, sir, man. I appreciate I just glad y'all had enough time because I know you're probably walking out the door right now to hit you the club and get on the microphone. So I'm going to let y'all go ahead and get y'all microphone check in a minute before we let y'all go, though. Like we always say every single week, keep God first, stay focused, and peace. Peace.